Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, let's see if we can render this out. Let's see what that gives us. Minimize this. Is the render render for this? So test render hundred. Okay. Let's save this again. Fire up the render for this. All right. This is actually cool. Kind of getting shadows bouncing off the backdrop now. Okay. I'm getting some interesting eye eye shading in there also, which is cool. Let me turn this this way. Let's see. Okay. Let's get some font facing. Come in here. All right, this is actually cool. I'm getting some rimless on the on some one side of the eye. On the other of the eye, which is actually cool also. Okay. This is interesting. Okay, let me put this this way. Let's see if we get the other camera in here. One time. Let's see what we get from this front cam. Alright, interesting. This is, this is actually quite good. Yes, this will definitely work with. Is a better ambience or better texture into our eye, or better shade into the eye instead. Okay. Probably give this a moment to load up. Uh, I don't use kind of product, that's why I kind of I was joined this to the previous lesson. Right? Join this to the previous lesson. So <clears throat> I just know, know that the arts I think the arts is good. Just for the arts is good. There isn't, there isn't much to do in the okay. Uh let me stop this. Okay, instead of stopping this, let me the AGRI pop. Let me see if we can change this up. Let's use two ten instead. <clears throat> this is result to ten gives. So we're having the line of even more. That's why I can see the shadow casting that the back almost close to 10 of what is a red dot because the back broke quite close out to the air but i don't want this thing let me just use your 230 that's a good one and 230 is actually a good one And this Asia gives a better result. You see how different age setup directly or indirectly affects the quality of your renders. Actually affects the what will affect your textures. Actually affect your textures like a different light setup. And this was a better one I used in in Substance Painter. That's why I'm using this. And I think I'm going to stick with this. I think I'm going to be sticking with. This. To be sticking with this. I feel like I also feel like I can do something a bit more interesting, but that will be for maybe for later. Probably for later. Mm. You know, adding some of what like what kind of look like um food, folded clothes. 
on top of this bar before just have a kind of folded fabric at the back so okay. maybe we should even do that while we are here I should, I should probably record the entire thing so I'm going to stop this for now stop this for now save this so i'm just trying to record the entire thing so we can be on the same page with this okay so uh i think i'm going to open up marvelous designer for this okay so we're in here now so i need to export I need to export the backdrop so i'll select this backdrop and just export it out we raise it up a bit higher like so push it back some more okay and export this out exports i'll just put this on my desktop uh let me, let me name this to no no edge backdrop Okay, so instead of Marvelous Designer, I'm going to import this. How do I even import this? Uh, okay, import OBJ. So my desktop, what's the desktop? So let's get this in here. Click OK. Uh, okay, yeah, it doesn't really matter that. Change the color up a bit, use more of a grayish tone to it. Click OK. Okay, so let's just draw, create a new. Is this it? Rectangle instead. Create something big like so. Well, it's taking quite a lot of time to load up. Well, so for some reason, it was not just loading up. Let me, let's open the library. Let's see if we can just find something plain. Now it's down to the sort of fabric. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm not supposed to be doing this. They're supposed to just draw something in here and then we we'll have something to work with already. And do something small first. Okay. Oh, good. We have something in here now. Okay. Uh. So I'm going to dr drastically scale this up. Come on. I think we're having issues with scaling here. Let me see if I can scale this. Let me scale this down first. Just scaling to me. Why is it not scaling down? Okay. Let me scale this down drastically. Uh, is this scheme scaling? It's not scaling now. It's not scaling. Great. How do I scale this? Should be some kind of scaling here now. It's supposed to be a kind of scale in here. How do I scale this crazy thing? 
uh, this is just really dumb. It's really dumb. Better still, let's just do something instead. Let me just kill this in here instead. The duplicate of this. And just kill this instead. Scale this something small. Okay, probably something like this. Export this out. Let me just name this to two. This is irrelevant. You don't need to worry this particular lesson if you don't want to. Oh. Just to show the entire step. You can decide to just skip this. Okay, okay, you have something now. Something smaller that you can work with. Okay. So I'll get this up. Scale this this way a bit more. Yeah, should probably save this also. I'm just going to the save side. Mm. Can you fold up for this? Studio fabric. I'm just trying to create an interesting looking backdrop. Wait, what is this? I lost my mouse. What is going on? Just one issue of time. Okay. We don't scale this down a bit more. Man, this is this is annoyingly slow. Man, it's annoyingly slow. So I'm just rotate this this way. Rotate this this way a bit more. Then I'm going to be using GPU to simulate this. Okay, well that's weird. Just pass through it. That's weird. I'm supposed to get this looking like an avatar instead. Uh, let me to convert this to avatar. So I can't really make great. That is just great. So you just fell right through it. It really does fail right through it. Well, that's a shame. Import uh, is able to import avatar instead. If I'm importing this wrong, I'm not importing this wrong. I'm importing this wrong. I think this is where the issue is. You can't really import this as an avatar. Gonna be created since the avatar must be equals and equals. Uh, well, that sucks. It's going right. But we have something in here, though. It is that great, great, great. 
just passing literally passing through it but for some reason this part is being affected the lower part is being affected some weird reason the lower part is being affected which is strange stop this okay uh, uh, I think I have an idea. So uh, I have an idea. Reset to three D. Maybe we'll reset to two D view. Set to two D. Get this year give this out like so and I'm going to pin this is the pin 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 where is the pin okay pin Going to pin this parts or oh, this parts like so. Then simulate this. Yeah, I think yeah, this is a better way to go. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of get something tangled in here. It even bounce. Is it even MCV is flexing with? There's bouncing of that, no doubt. Get this stretched out. Looking for a good spot for this. I think we almost had it. Uh, this is a good one. Okay, so uh, I'm going to export this. Maybe increase the, the particle distance a bit more. Let's try ten. Mm. 